Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 244, reduction operators to make arrays element uh, equal. So the key thing to know about this is just observing that um, for each number, and they don't have to be unique, it goes to the next number. And then now you effectively reduce this problem into that number or into a new problem where um, every, you know, you, you just have a new problem, right? So their states keep changing. So then now, you know that this is a, a bit of a simulation problem in that way, in that you simulate what happens. But of course, you have to do it a little bit faster because the numbers, you know, there could be a lot of unique numbers and we do them one at a time, it's going to be too slow. So then the thing to notice is that, okay, well, if I have a bunch of the same numbers, we can move them all at the same time. And this alone is fast enough to get the answer because then now, you can do it with n log n time, mostly on the sorting. Um, yeah, and that's basically my idea is that, okay, I put it in a frequency table. Um, so, you know, this maps the num the each number with its frequency. Um, I have all the keys in a sorted way from largest to the smallest. And, okay, so now for each number, I go, okay, um, current is just the number of, the number of numbers at the current max number. So whenever you go to the max, you, uh, whenever you process a number, you know now you have that many numbers that you have to you have to move to the next number, and then and that causes well current number of operations. So then now uh, and the next, you know that just adds the total number of operations, and that's pretty much it. And you stop when you get to the largest number or. You stop before you get to the largest number because, oh sorry, the smallest number, because once you're in the smallest number, you don't do any operation. So that's why I chop off the last element. Um, that's pretty much it. It's a little bit tricky. Uh, I spent a couple of minutes on this one. Um, but, but yeah, um, yeah. Uh, basically, the idea is that okay, you have you arrange them from large to smallest, and then you just kind of move them all together from the largest to the, you know, to the next smallest. And because of that, you just you know go for all the numbers one at a time at worst. Um, but it's going to be dominated by the sorting anyway. So it's going to be n log n time and all of n space due to the frequency table. Um, you actually put, mm, you actually don't need the. Mm, I mean, it makes it a lot easier to write, but if you're a little bit careful, um, you know, you don't actually need this uh, frequency table, which means that you can do it in constant space if you're careful. But I, I don't want to be careful, so I did it in linear space. Uh, challenge yourself at home. Upsolve it. Um, that's all I have with this one. You could watch me solve it live during the contest. Next. Hopefully this is good. Yep. Okay. Uh, what a silly mistake on a typo. People already finished Q2. <clears throat> Make all the elements equal to be one over the thumbs. The, no the next largest number that is strictly smaller than... Next largest. Okay, so five. Hmm... And ten, uh, okay. So, okay. The tie breaking doesn't even matter. Okay. So, this is a frequency table thing. Um. So oh, this goes from three to two to two. Okay. Five goes to three, and then two three goes to one. So that's three, right? Okay. So that's easy. Okay. So then now. Um, it's like a prefix sum almost. Uh, I'm gonna reverse this. Uh, let's see, f of q. So that's the number of current numbers that we're moving, and then now we move the current. 
Okay. Um, if this is not the last key, so yeah, because we don't return the last key, and then we just return total. I think that's roughly right. I want to be more careful on this one. Hmm, is this right? What happens if I do this? Just to make sure that this should be wrong. Okay, yep, that should be wrong. So, okay. 304, let's give it a go. Come on, come on, yep, okay. Minimum number of flips to make. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed chilling and going through this farm with me. Uh, stay good, stay healthy. Uh, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and yeah.